let's preview the divisional round. We have eight playoff teams remaining. The first game we're going to talk about, the Jacksonville Jaguars at the Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium Saturday, 4.30 p.m. Chiefs are favored by eight and a half. The one seed in the AFC getting that first round by uh, Jacksonville coming off that historic comeback against the Los Angeles Chargers. Mm-hmm. Nick, I'm starting with you here. Who are you taking and what's your final score prediction? Who am I taking against the spread or straight up? You can go straight up and against the spread. I okay, don't care. So You're the I betting would say man. Straight up and against the spread, I would probably go with Kansas City. Um, Jack Jacksonville coming off a really uh, a, a really big win. Although I'm a little less confident, obviously, in the spread because the it, two scores could still be a lot. Um, I would still go with Kansas City. Jacksonville, I would say. Coming up, it's going to be tough to win. Going to Kansas City, Kansas City is a tough place to play. Um, Kansas City is a much more talented team, and it's not the same as playing. Against, I mean, you also have to remember last game, the Jaguars made a lot of mistakes. I mean, if you're going to make a lot of mistakes against the Chiefs, if you're going to throw four interceptions in the first half, you're going to get killed. So, yeah, that also has to be taken into account. Like, they needed. They needed everything to go their way in a comeback against the Chargers at home. Right. This is going on the road against the Chiefs. And so I, I think the Chiefs probably win by, I would say, two. I don't think they kill them, but it should be two touchdowns. It should be around two scores. I would say they win 30 to 20. Or 30, yeah, 30 to 20. Okay. James, you're on the clock. Kansas City blows out the Jaguars uh, 34-17. Wow. Okay. Jacksonville will not make it. And I just did a recording with Jaguars fan Vinny Milani earlier today during my lunch break, and I'm trying to remember my score prediction from that Uh game. Um, I believe I took the Chiefs by a final score of 30 to. 21. Yes, that's that's what I took. So I'm one point off from Nick. Uh, overall, I think the Chiefs are the superior team. Uh, the Chiefs did win the Week 10 matchup where the Chiefs had three turnovers and the Jaguars had none, yet they were still able to win the football game. Garth, coming in and say, T-Law said Arrowhead won't be louder than Jacksonville was Saturday night. Mahomes will mm-hmm. be looking to knock him down a notch. I think... Um, Mahomes is too experienced here. Andy Reid, outstanding head coach. We know their running game features Isaiah Pacheco and Jarek McKinnon. Their defense is a concern, though. If Lawrence could exploit their defense, Jacksonville could surprise some people and hang around in this football game. So I would not be shocked if Jacksonville pulls this off, but it's very unlikely that they will. So we have a clean sweep for the first game. The Chiefs advancing to the AFC Championship game, meaning it will be at the Mercedes-Benz Dome in Atlanta because the AFC will have the neutral site. Um, Ryan Stefanides, thank you for the comment, Ryan. Hope you're doing well. No-brainer, Chiefs will win. I mean, it's the biggest spread of all the games. Yeah. Yeah. First-time commenter, Ryan, thank you very much. Um, Hope you enjoy um, our show and our content here tonight. Moving on to the next game, the sixth-seeded New York Giants at the one-seeded Philadelphia Eagles Saturday night at the link, 8.15 p.m. start. Eagles are favored by seven and a half here. James, as the Giants fan, I'm going to start with you. Who are you picking in this game, and what is your final score? Giants, Eagles can't beat us three times. It'll be a very tight game. I'm looking at a 28. 24 game Giants. Wow. Okay. Nick, who's your pick in this game? What's your final score in any oh, spread you the, want to? The Giants, the, the Eagles are favored by uh, seven and a half. Um, against the spread, I really like the Giants because I think these teams are very close. Um, straight up, I would, pro- I would definitely, I would take the, the Eagles though. I would say the Eagles win 27 24. Especially if they use those small T's, apparently, that they've been using. (laughs) Here's my thing. 
Giants are five and zero all time against one seed since 1990. Uh, in our lifetime, everyone's lifetime, the Giants have either lost their first playoff game or they've gone on to the Super Bowl. Uh, last time that didn't happen was 1993. They beat the Vikings in the wild card round, and then they got eliminated the next week in the divisional round. 2008, 14 years ago, Giants were the one seed. Eagles were the six seed. Philly also had a tie that year. Giants lost three out of their final four games of the regular season. They lost to the Philadelphia Eagles at the Meadowlands 23-11. to 11. A lot of similarities between this Giants team and the 2008 Eagles team as far as momentum goes. Um, Philly, you know, Jalen Hurts, a little banged up with that shoulder. Lane Johnson, we don't know what he's going to do. He's putting off surgery until the offseason. The Giants are coming in hot off a win against the Minnesota Vikings. They just played in Philly two weeks ago with the second and third stringers in there, and they put up a fight. Um I don't know. I think the week off for the Eagles actually hurts them. I think it hurts them here. Um, It's tough because the Giants had their own bye week in week 18, if you think about it. So each team technically had a bye week. Um, It is tough to beat a team three times. Ryan says Big Blue will win by three. Um, My boss, who's a 49ers fan, came up to me and said this week, I think your team's going to win. I'm like, I'm not as confident as my bosses that the Giants are going to win. But you know what? I know I'm making my official prediction tomorrow night on Big Blue Avenue. But for right now, I'm going to take the Giants shocking the Philadelphia Eagles at the link um, in overtime by a final oh. score, by a final score of 26 to 23. If that happens, you're the guru. If they win in overtime 26-23, I'll grant you guru status. Okay. <laughs> and I say this in a tongue-in-cheek type of way because the last time the Giants played the Eagles in Philadelphia for a playoff game, the Eagles won 23-20 to in overtime. That was back in 2006. The problem – so your prediction is totally based on the past. Not totally History. based on the past. I did mention the Giants are riding high. They have a lot of momentum right now, Nick. Sure. Fair enough. Nick, this prediction, you got to turn into Big Blue tomorrow where he gives his official prediction. Right. And so tomorrow, is this prediction like the unofficial prediction? It's a non-prediction prediction? He can't show so, his cards since it's tomorrow. This is the thing. There could be an injury that happens overnight. You know, like last week, right. Evan Neal turned his ankle in practice and looked shitty in the Minnesota game. It showed. So... I would not be shocked if my prediction changes until tomorrow night. But right now, I'm going strong with the Giants, 26 to 23 in overtime. All right. Moving on. The Bengals, three seed taking on the Bills, the two seed. Uh, This is probably the game that's most difficult for people to pick uh, this weekend. The Cincinnati Bengals coming off an unimpressive 24 to 17 win over the Baltimore Ravens in the wild card round where Joe Burrow struggled to find his receivers throughout the course of the game due to lack of offensive line protection. The Ravens got a good amount of sacks on him and pressured him a lot. The Buffalo Bills have a superior defense to the Ravens, one of the best in the NFL. They're also coming off a tough divisional playoff win at home against the Miami Dolphins. They're favored by five Sunday, 3 p.m. kickoff in upstate New York. Nick. Starting with you here on this one, who are you taking? What's your final score? And do you have any betting recommendations for the folks out there? Okay, so in terms of the spread, which is really what I pick, that's really what I care about, um, considering my teams aren't in. Um, uh, So I would say against the spread, they're favored by five and a half. Last I checked, Uh, yeah, five and a half. The Bills are are giving five and a half. I really like the Bengals because they always play these games tough. They're always they always play up to their competition. I've never seen them get blown out by like a team. I mean, like they beat the Chiefs on the road this year, so I think they could eat, definitely keep it close. I, I could see this game being within a field goal. But in terms of straight up, I would go with the Bills. I mean, especially I mean, part of my prediction would very much depend on the weather. I mean, I think that if it's like a really bad, if there's like a lot of snow or anything like that, I think that would affect it. But 
most likely I could see, I think that the Bills win 31 28. They should have a three point game. You have Cincinnati covering the spread. James, last year, you had some good luck picking the Bengals. Lightning strike twice, or are you going different this time around? I'm going different this time around. Going with Bills. And you're 21 17. Low scoring. Okay. So, um, I like the Bills a lot as a football team. Um, I like the Bengals a lot too, though. You know, they win a lot of close games. You know, they're they're gritty. Their defense is good. Their quarterback is good. They have weapons, but you know, ever since what happened. By the way, it, it, it's awesome that this game is being played now. Uh, in in the playoffs on this stage, I just want to shout that out there. It's mm-hmm. great to see both teams getting um, another chance to play each other. Um, so I'm happy for both teams there. But I think Buffalo, what we saw last week against Miami, I think Allen doesn't turn the ball over as much. I think we could all agree, guys, if Allen doesn't turn the ball over three times, there's no way the Dolphins are as close as they are. I think Allen plays cleaner football this time around. And I think the Bills are going to win, um, unfortunately, because I like both teams. Don't get me wrong. But I think the Bills are going to squeeze this one out at home. Um, I'm going to go a little bit higher in scoring. I think the Bills are going to score 35 points, and I think Cincinnati is going to score 31. That's my final score, 35 so Basically, if, if you took my uh, predictions, you would take the Bengals and the over. Yes. But I did take the over under is 48. Yes, I would take the over, but the the Bengals are five point dogs, and I'm picking the Bills to win by four. So I don't feel as much confident in the spread, if that makes sense. But, but at least if you're if you were to pick either one, you would pick the Bengals. Yes, yes, absolutely. Last game. Dallas Cowboys, five seed. 12 and 5 on the year. They steamroll over the sub 500 bucks on Monday Night Football. San Francisco 49ers coming off a blowout divisional win over the Seattle Seahawks. Well, the second half that was. Uh, uh, um, James, who do you got in this game? I think I know where your head's at, but are we going to see Stephen A make a video post game? See Stephen A make a post game video, maybe even a during game because how bad San Francisco is just going to smack the Cowboys. Dak, yeah. I hope the kicker's on the sideline slamming his helmet down at Dak on this three interceptions he's going to throw and two fumbles and seven sacks he's going to get hit with. Um, so on that note, I'm picking the San Francisco's to blow out the Cowboys. We're going to do 41 28. Pretty bold. That is bold. Well, Dallas twenty eight points against the Niners defense, though. Mm. Dallas gets lucky. They they have a field goal oh, kicker okay. that makes a few kicks. Listen, I could have said points. I could have said forty one to like ten, but had to be some realistic here. He'll he'll make a fifty yard field goal, but blow an extra point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nick, what's what is your pick here? I could see the Niners. I mean, the Niners seem to score a lot of points against everybody. They're four point favorites. I feel um I feel a little unsure um of the spread and all that, but I mean because it's a little bit more than a field goal, so it's kind of hard. Uh, so it, it's it's a little bit hard to win without covering. Um mm-hmm. but I would say I like I would probably go with the Niners uh probably 30 I'm trying to do the math right now. 35, 31, I could imagine. Um, I think the Niners are, I mean, I think the Cowboys are a really good team, but it's going to be tough for them to go to San Francisco and pull this one out. Um, I'm not making any official spread predictions other than the over because I just, on one hand, the Cowboys are very good. On the other hand, the Niners have been beating everybody by a lot and they're at home. Uh, I think the Niners right now are the best team in the NFC. Um, I, I so I would I really do like the Niners to win this. 
Ryan Stefanides with a comment here. I wouldn't go that far with that prediction. Yeah, he brings up a good point. What uh, prediction? I think he's talking about mine. 41-28. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't see Dallas scoring that many points. But I think both of you guys might be undervaluing each team's defense just a little bit. Um, both of these defenses had stellar performances, uh, especially San Francisco's in the second half on – Saturday night. Um, I like the 49ers in this game, but I'm not going to go as high scoring here. Um, I think San Francisco wins by a final score of 27 to 17. I don't think Dallas eclipses the 20 point mark. I think the 49ers will roll into the NFC title game and win by 10. But so those are our predictions for divisional round weekend. So Nick has both the ones and the twos. Uh, we have James, all four of the same picks. We have the Chiefs, mm-hmm. Bills, Niners, and the Giants advancing. My gosh, 